Phyllis Nalrat has lived with cystic breast disease since she was 24. I had been fighting this fight with the breast cancer. Could it be, could it not be? And finally this time, I just had a gut reaction it really was going to be. She was diagnosed with breast cancer. I just decided at that moment that I was going to have to do what I could do to help the doctors and the medicine fix my body. After a lumpectomy, Phyllis and her doctor had to decide the next course of treatment, whole breast irradiation or brachytherapy. Brachytherapy involves placing a radiation pellet or seed in the breast after lumpectomy to treat any hidden cancer that could be in the breast after surgery. The treatment affects less breast tissue and also requires a shorter course of treatment. Treating the whole breast involves using an external radiation beam and daily treatments for up to seven weeks. There's one beam coming from this direction and one beam coming from this direction. Dr. Benjamin Smith from the University of Texas MD Anderson Cancer Center and co-authors studied Medicare claims of more than 92,000 women diagnosed with breast cancer between 2003 and 2007. Almost 7,000 were treated with brachytherapy and more than 85,000 with whole breast irradiation. Women treated with brachytherapy had approximately twice the risk of losing their breast within five years of diagnosis compared to women treated with whole breast radiation. The study appears in this week's JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. Women had a higher likelihood of getting a breast infection after treatment and were also more likely to have other complications associated with their surgery, such as bleeding or wound breakdown or a fluid collection develop in their breast. Phyllis opted for whole breast irradiation and recently completed treatment. I went for my mammogram the other day and they said everything looked yeah, good. Some of the trade-offs between brachytherapy and whole breast radiation may be a little bit more complex than were previously appreciated. And it's important for women to know these potential limitations when they're choosing the best treatment for them. Phyllis is now looking forward to helping other women going through cancer treatment and even grandchildren one day. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.